Well, we want to turn again to the aftermath of that chemical fire in Deer Park blazing away for nearly four days. You're looking at live pictures from Sky. You can see a lot of workmen there kind of inspecting the bridges. Now that the blaze is out, we are looking at the runoff that has been left behind in the water and the soil. So let's get straight up to Don Armstrong and Sky Eye with what we're seeing right now. And Don, it looks like there's a lot of foam in that river. Uh, Melanie, there's a lot of foam and a lot of debris from what is left of the fire and those tanks. And as you can see, as I pull back here, a lot of black residue on top of the water. This is Tucker Bayou, and it round, runs down the side of the plant out here to the Houston Ship Channel. As you can see, they have a dam in place to try to catch whatever it is that is running off here, obviously from all of those tank fires. But let me pull back a little bit further so you can see wow. exactly where we are over here on the ship channel. And uh, as a matter of fact, this bayou runs into uh, a dock area. There is a boat down there, as you can see. Uh, other chemical plants that are nearby as well. And there is the Houston ship channel. And you can see all of the debris that is not only floating on the surface, but is beneath the surface as well. And they're trying to dam it up, but here it comes out into the ship channel. And as we all know that have lived here at any time at all, the ship channel goes through Galveston Bay. And that is always a huge concern when there's any kind of a spill of any sorts in the Houston ship channel because it ultimately heads down toward the, the Galveston Bay area and ultimately into right. the Gulf of Mexico. So big concerns over here uh, for all the runoff that's occurring from the ITC fire. You know, Back we need, to you guys. Yeah, we need to remember, Don, that you know this is a petroleum fire. It's a petroleum base. This is no different than from uh, an, an oil tanker in the ocean springing a leak or an oil leak because all of this is petroleum base and we had video of those uh, big chunks of sort of debris that were showing that up in like people's yard right coal. and so this is this is going to be and that's why they have all those buoys out there but but what a mess this potentially has uh, it could cause here well, we've all been focused on the air quality, and rightly so, but uh, now I think our attention needs to be turned to the water, what's in the water, how it's going to affect all of the estuaries and shellfish that are harvested all the time in Galveston Bay. Sure. We'll just have to wait and see what takes place. And Don, you can clearly see that black sheen, as you pointed out there yeah, on, on the 